Hello everyone and welcome to Junyoung Plays. My name is Logan and today we are playing Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3 recently came out with a new season, that being the fresh season which started on February 28th and will end on May 31st. In the last season I didn't do as well as I would like to hope, I only got up to catalog level 75. This time around though, I hope to go all the way so I can have everything unlocked by the end of the season. I'm very excited to get started, here we go. Alright guys, here we are at the Manta Maria, the new map that was released for the fresh season. Joining me today is Jenna and Isaiah, and I'm very excited to get started. Dude, this map looks gorgeous. Anyways, Isaiah and Jenna are telling me that this map, the Manta Maria, was actually a Splatoon 2 map. However, I never played Splatoon 2, so I wouldn't know that. You guys may also notice that I'm using a new gun. I'm using the Neo Splushomatic, and the Neo Splushomatic is a variant of the Splushomatic, which has the Killer Whale and also the Squid Beacon, which you see right there. The Squid Beacon is really good because you have two of them, and you can jump to them when you get defeated by the other team. Right now, Isaiah is using one of the newest variants of the NZAP, the NZAP 89, which has the Auto Bomb and the Super Chump. The Super Chump is one of the newest alts in the game, and essentially what it does, it makes it appear as if someone is jumping to your position. However, instead of someone actually jumping to your position, balloons will fall out of the sky and ink turf below it. You can pop the balloons to minimize their coverage though. It is not my favorite alt, but it does get a lot of coverage if undisturbed. I'm gonna get this guy right here, got him. Alright everyone push up, line has been broken. Oh, whale well, watch out! Shoot. I should have jumped off that ridge right there. One of the newest weapons that we're also using is the Kraken Splat Roller. Jenna is actually using this weapon, which has the Squid Beacon and the Kraken Royale. The Kraken Royale is the other newest alt that was released during the fresh season, and you guys will probably see it by the end of this video. The Kraken Royale essentially turns you into a giant squid, and if you run someone over with it, it will immediately destroy them. The crack on splat roller could also knock you out in one hit if you get close enough to it, just like the flingsa, so be very careful if you're fighting at a close range. The other newest weapon in this lobby is the Neo Splashomatic, which has the suction bomb and the triple ink strike. Shoot, I have forge on me. Ugh. The forge just melts you at such close range. It's ridiculous. I also need to learn how to put down beacons a little bit more. Alright, moving up. It's not usually within my nature to pull up the map and jump into uh, the beacon. I need to get into a habit of actually doing that. Push up to the left up here. Watch out for the auto bomb. We have Wavebreaker in mid. Jenna, watch out! No! I'll avenge you, Jenna! Popping whale. Moving up slightly. Oh, I'm screwed. That's the worst. Whenever the enemy ink is at your feet and you have nowhere to go. I made the joke one time that in order to get hit by the section bomb, you have to be completely unaware that it's actually there because it takes years to pop. But if something like that were to happen where the enemy's ink is all over the floor and you can't move, it's a lot easier to fail. Alright, 8, 7, 6, 5. We got this. Isaiah, push it up with you. Let's go. Let's go, Isaiah. Let's go. Let's go! Crucial double kill at the end there. That was great. Alright, that's an easy W. That map was great. I really liked the design of the map. The water looks absolutely fantastic. And I did enjoy using the Neo Splushomatic. Look at all them gold medals. Alright, on to the next map. Alright, we've made it to Umami Ruins, the newest map released during the fresh season. So unlike the Manta Maria, Umami Ruins is actually a new map. It's not from Splatoon 1 or 2. It's exclusively to Splatoon 3. Also, you guys may notice that I switched weapons, so I'm no longer using the Neo Splushomatic. I am now using the Tri Slosher Nouveau. Now the Tri Slosher Nouveau has the same stats as the Tri Slosher. The only difference being is that its sub is the Fizzy Bomb and its alt is the Tactic Cooler. Isaiah has also changed his weapon during the playthrough and is no longer using the NZAP 89. Instead, he is using the custom Jet Squelcher, which has Toxic Mist as its sub and Ink Storm as its alt. We have Tentacooler mid, we just defeated the crab. Watch out, Reef Slither. Jenna, no! I got you! 
Oh shoot, we have Kraken. So this right here is the new alt. It can surge forward in a powerful ray, and if it runs you over, you're done. Oh, double kill. Let's go. Pushing up. Pushing up. Almost have him. Triple kill. Let's go. And this is why I love the tri Slasher Nouveau. You don't necessarily need to be too accurate with it, but it's a great Slayer weapon at close range. As I was saying before, I was really interrupted by all the alts that were going on. The Jet Sculptures are a good weapon to have, the one that Isaiah is using, but the only reason why I don't really like using them is because I'm not very accurate with it. The Jet Sculpture itself has long range, and if you're not accurate, it's not a good gun for you to have. Drop a Tentacooler down mid. It's always a good idea to use it this way once Tentacooler is down, so let your teammates know where it is. We have Brush Movement on right side, got him. Let's go, Isaiah. Unstoppable team when we're together. Another reason why I like the tri Slasher Nouveau is because of the Tentacooler. In the last episode of Splatoon that we filmed, I mentioned how the Tentacooler gives you a lot of buffs. However, I don't think I mentioned that the Tentacooler will also give you quick respawn, which means that even if you are defeated by the enemy, you will be able to push up into enemy lines once again really quickly. For the most part, I think that we have been controlling the middle of the map, or at least I think this is the middle of the map. At the very beginning of the game, I mentioned that this map is huge, so I'm not entirely sure the layout. Oh shoot, Trade Wolf Brush on left side. Oh dang it, I had to cool already. I have to make sure that I use that. Shoot, missed opportunity. Well, anyways, like I was saying before the brush splatted me, this map is huge, and I'm not entirely sure of the exact layout of the map. I know that you have the option of looking at your map by hitting X on your controller, but I rarely ever do this. However, I probably should start getting into the habit of doing this. We have Brush on right side coming up. Got him. Let's go, Isaiah. Every single time, man. You weaken them, I finish them off. No, Jenna! Oh, man. She got obliterated up there. Alright, I'm gonna fall back so Jenna can jump over to me. There we go. Now, looping around. They're on the left side up here. Oh, shoot. Brush is on the top left. I think he's on that ridge up there. Alright, Isaiah, let's move up. Let's go, Jenna. Jenna's doing damage at their base. Brush is coming up rail. Sure, I missed. Covering. Alright. I felt pretty good that game. I felt like we carried mid the entire time. So I'm pretty confident we won. Alright, let's go. And that is a W. That's how you do it. Good thing we had someone all the way back at our base to cover up some of that ink up there. Overall splatter, popular target, and home base anchor. Let's go. Alright everyone, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I only did two matches, but I was very excited to show you guys the two new maps that came out during the fresh season. Leave a comment down below and tell me which map you thought was your favorite. If you are new to the channel or are old time supporter, thank you so much for watching this series. I'm having a good time. Share with a friend, leave a like, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.